Hello, fellow Earth scientists. I want to just quickly go um, through the, cat, the class and how it's set up, just for your information. Um, so you'll see in your um, Blackboard section, there are several tools on the left. And you need to open up your section, and you need to go through those, and you need to look at each tool that you have. You're going to see you've got a home page. There you're going to see your announcements. Those announcements, if you have your Blackboard notification set, those should go directly to your email. And so you will always want to come in and check and see if you, you're getting all of the announcements. So, for example, um, you know, uh, there are free masks for you that you can pick up. Um, if you're taking the class on campus, the Google Doc, you can just click that link, go straight into your Google Doc. You're going to get five bonus points, as that states, um, if you go into the Google Doc. And uh, you need to fill out in regards to your hometown and your major. So you need to click the Google Doc, go in, put in your home country, put in your home state, your hometown, your home county, the year what year you are, if you're a freshman or a junior, um, and your major, and then what your five-year career goal is, where you're going to be five years from now. So if you could fill that out, that would be fabulous. Um, I teach three sections on campus, and then I teach a distance section. Um, so we've got section one and two, which are Monday, Wednesday. Section three is Tuesday, Thursday at 9.30, and then the distance course um, is, is completely online. So make sure you fill that out for your five bonus points. Um, then you go to your Pearson My Lab, and I'm going to put the student preview so you just see what students see. So there's the home page, the announcements. Pearson, my, the Pearson Mastering My Labs, when you click that, you should be able to see your assignments. Um, you can see there's a welcome and it's just access to everything. And uh, your student and you accept and, and you know, it's going to prompt me to log in and to register. So that's what happens the first time that you come in. So each time that you come in, you have three choices. Um, you either have an access code you bought from the bookstore. Um, you don't want to select this option. Um, you want this one if you're going to buy direct for $79.99. But if, you, if you're if you waiting for your financial aid and you want to do temporary access, that's fine too. So then you have 14 days that you can access the quiz. Um, and your first official quiz for the 20 points is due a week from Thursday. Right now, there's just some extra credit. So if you're expecting your financial aid is going to take a couple weeks, you might want to wait and register prior to the reading quiz next week. It's going to take a minute to process that. And uh, once it's done, you'll get some notification. Um, and it gives you some account information. And then you should be able to, in the student view, after you registered with Pearson and you pick one of your uh, choices, then you can come in and it says due tomorrow, um, introduction to mastering, and that's an extra credit. And then due next week, due in eight days is chapter one and two. Um, and then it shows all of the assignments. Your reading quizzes are 20 points each. The introduction, introduction to mastering geology, that's extra credit. You get two attempts on that and reading quiz one. After that, you just get one attempt. 
the dynamic study modules are all extra credit. Now, they're going to say points out of two. Okay, so when they come into Blackboard, uh, they, they will not come in as extra credit from Pearson. But then once I get them into Blackboard, then I convert them over to extra credit. And then you have all of these chapter one. Um, and for right now, you've got like chapter one through 13. There'll be more of those available um, later. But you'll notice they're all due on December 1st. So um, those are uh, worth about five points each. And again, those are extra credit. So the course is based on the reading quizzes. So you want to make sure that you take your reading quiz every week, every Thursday, and they're due at 11.59 p.m. Okay? So that's how you access those. And the best way to get an A in this class is, one, to read your book, access your e-text right there in the Pearson MyLab through Blackboard, and your e-text will come up. And right now, um, for next week for your reading quiz, you need to read chapters one and chapters two. So chapters one is the introduction where it talks about the four spheres, the scientific method, generally how the earth formed, um, geologic time, and they use a calendar to kind of show you that. Then in your text, it's a just a world-class text. You can look at the brief contents and um, you can see the different chapters and they've got it broken down into units. So for your reading quiz one, you're gonna cover uh, one, others one and two. Now, and the contents in it, you can see the contents, and it'll come up, and it'll give you, there's focus contents, and then there's sections. So chapter one has section 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Um, they've got a little inset geographics on the solar system, section 1.4, section 1.5. Then at the end, you have the concepts in review, give it some thought, examining the earth, and some data analysis. The concepts are in review are great. This is a great uh, um, review. But basically, let's go ahead and let's start reading this. So over here, we'll go to Chapter 1, Introduction to Earth Science. And you've got um, your, your tabs. You can go forward or backwards. Um, you can bookmark. You can add a bookmark if you want to remember um, what the definition of it, the earth science is. So you can add the, a bookmark there. And then um, you can have, you've got some display settings on the background if you want the text to be large or smaller. And then if you click the dot, 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 you can print the page. Um, you can get a hold of the support right there. There's a magnifying glass where you can search for things. So, for example, if you're looking for the word biology, um, in that, um, let's see, it gives us in chapter 13.1, it talks about biology. In this uh, chapter, 1.1, what is earth science? Knowledge about principles from physics, chemistry, and biology, oceanography, integrate. Um, and so here is geology, oceanography, meteorology, and astronomy. But I just wanted you to see that you do have a search where you can find things. So, for example, um, the geosphere, all the occurrences in the book, it'll give you the definition of the geosphere. It's in section 1.4 um, in content. You can tell it to show it all. So you can find everywhere where that, that particular word or phrase shows up in the book. So then you start reading. I suggest that you have some notes. I showed this video to one of the sections, um, Arizona's Grand Canyon. So there's embedded videos in it, and, and there's also embedded smart figures. Um, so here's smart figure 1.6, the magnitude of geologic time, and then there's an accompanying video that you can watch to help explain that. At the beginning of each chapter, there are the objectives. At the end of each section, there are concept checks. You want to make sure you read the concept checks and know those. You might even want to just print out the concept checks and make that part of your study notes and then put the answers before you go to the next section. So then you can go to, to each of the sections and you can read. So you want to read chapters one and two. Um, and when you take the quizzes, tell you what chapters it's covering. Um, so at the end of each chapter, you have the concept in review, which is a great review. It's got all the key terms at the end that you need to know, and you can click the key terms and then it'll return back to the book. Be a little bit of a slow connection, 
but you can click those it'll take you back you can get the definition and i just searched for this geosphere so it keeps your last search highlighted which is really nice um and so then it'll, you'll go through each section and so there's some review and then um they've got some thinking questions and some more review and then if we do any of the data analysis i can let you know if you want to do a little bit deeper dive into this um, if you're looking for additional review and test prep materials, you can visit the study area um, in Mastering Geology. And if you click that, um, it takes you out there. But really, you can just come back here, and that's the next thing. Go to your study area. First, I read your chapter. Then you need to do your end of chapter quiz. And here's the study area. So you can study by chapter. You've got your mobile field trips. You've got videos, animations. You can graph it. Um, and then you've got the chapter quizzes. But for example, if you go to chapter one, introduction to earth, you can see all of the, the videos and the smart figures. Um, and then I recommend that after you read it, that you take the end of chapter quiz for your study guide. And you can also, with that, you can, you can cut and paste that study guide. Um, and after you take it, and it'll tell you the correct answers, so you go through and you can you know, see your results, um, it'll tell you what you got on it. Close the panel. Um, let's see. And under the see your results, um, let's see. It'll give you some feedback. Um, there used to be an option to email that to you when you're done. You must probably need to finish it, and then, then it'll email that to you. But you can just cut and paste this, and so you can take um, the entire thing, After you've answered the questions, you can open up a Word doc, and then you can cut and paste that in the Word doc or a Google doc, for that matter. And you can cut and paste that in um, for a study guide, of course, after you've selected all the correct answers. And that'll paste in here in a minute. So, um, and one thing that you might try when you paste it in is you can maybe not keep all the formatting because right now it's just trying to keep all the formatting. But anyway, so you want to read the chapter, take the end of the chapter quiz in your study area, and go take your reading quiz. So then you would return back here, you would go to mastering, and when you take the quizzes, it'll tell you what it's covering. So reading quiz one, um, it's going to cover chapters one and two. And so um, each one is worth about 20, they're all worth 20 points, and it tells you about how long it's going to take you. So they're set up to be no more than an hour and a half. So use the choices below to fill in the blanks. Minerals are blank, inorganic blank, that usually possess a crystalline structure and can be represented by a chemical formula. You can view the hint, um, and then you, it'll give you hint one. Minerals are created by chemical and physical biological processes. So fill in the minerals are... Um, naturally occurring solids and then you submit that and it'll tell you okay it's correct then you go to the next one so you just work yourself through the quiz they're open book um, and if you if you're wanting to see the ebook at the same time uh let's see you probably with that ebook you're probably gonna have to uh, open up a separate browser So you can open up, uh, you can open up your e-text while you're taking it, even in the same browser. So that's great. And so you work yourself through it all the way to the end, um, and then you're, it, and it has a review button too. So if you want to go back and read about a particular question while you're on it, it'll open up the e-text and let you read about that particular item right there while you're taking the quiz. So that makes it pretty simple, pretty interactive. You do want to have a good connection while you do it. So that's what you do. That's how you take the quizzes. And um, you can see the grades after you take them in here, the mastering scores. In your content folder, um, if you need technical support, if you have computer problems, you can email um, the MIC help desk. 
So that's in your content folder. In your assessment folder, that's where exams, tests, anything. I've got a couple things in your assessment folder, seven um, extra credit points. So you need to submit your end goal for, the, for this class. And um, right here, it just says submit your end goal points. So all you have to do is type in 503, and then you would hit submit. And then that will submit that. So those are both in your assessment folder. In your book, syllabus, and schedule, make sure your Blackboard notifications on. Required for this course is the uh, my the Pearson My um, Lab code and an ebook for the lab. If you're taking it on campus, you also need this code because you're two classes, two codes. Um, I've also put a, a video on there how to register. I have instructions. You can click those and download those. And again, here's Blackboard student onboarding, just some information. Here's your grade calculator to help you with your grade as we walk through this. You can download your syllabus. Here's your schedule. I've got that posted for you and also have the lab schedule as well. Um, and student, student tech support for Pearson, I have that posted. Um, and then I show you how to check your final grades after you submit your student evaluation. Um, simple syllabus, that is a new thing the university is trying out. That's going to take you to simple syllabus. And it's basically very similar. You know, it's pretty much the exact same thing you have. And it's just a, a new item that they're using here. I'm at the university. So BU Student Resources Center for uh, Teaching and Learning. This is where you can get some Blackboard training or proctorial for taking exams. So you would click the Blackboard Student Tutorials. This is packed with information. Um, how to use Blackboard. Um, I put the specific link on that for you so you can kick that around. When we use the exam proctor, it'll be here. Um, I put, I've got a uh, tool for all of the tools in case you want to see everything that you have available to you. Um, the Monday, Wednesday class, uh, we uh, will do a Zoom meeting. So if you want to kick into the Zoom meeting, you want to come into that content folder and you can click that link. It should open up in a new window. And when I start that meeting, it will bring you right into that. Okay, so that meeting's not started yet. So. Okay, but all you have to do is to go directly in that and just click the Zoom meeting and click that link. Um, collaborate for the students in the Tuesday, Thursday. All you need to do is click that during the class period and that'll bring you into my open classroom um, for the lectures on Tuesday, Thursday at 9.30. Um, virtual office hours. I have office hours from 10, 15, let's see, or no, yeah, 10, 15 to 11 on Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 8.30 to 9.30, and you can click this, and it'll bring you into my virtual office hour. Um, when you send the email, make sure you use this button, because when you email, use this one. It'll, in the subject for you, you don't have to type it in, but it's going to go ahead and fill in what class you're in. I have over almost 200 students, and so if you send me an email that's not in Blackboard using this email instructor, you must put this in the subject, the class and the section that you're in, or else I may not be able to respond to it until I have to go look up your name, find out which section you're in. So it may take me two days to respond if you don't put the course and the section ID in the subject. Um, my name is Penny Padgett. I'm a professional geologist in Indiana and Kentucky. I come out of industry. Um, and you can contact me mainly by email. My office number is 812-888-4521. I'm located over at Up.Call um, in 219. And it's got my office hours. I have um, a blog out. And, you know, I just put various things in there, you know, um, how to register your code. I mean, there's nothing out there that's not in your Blackboard. If you just need some kind of break. And I've got, you know, some motivational, you know, why whales sing. So if you want to hit that, you just need sort of a mental break. There's some information out there. Um, and uh, wikis. Wikis, I like them much better than discussion, the discussion board. And I have one, two, three wikis for you. Start with this wiki, how to make a wiki page. And this is just like Wikipedia. So you create a wiki, you put your name in it. And this one says, in the wiki uh, that I create, you create the wiki watch this. So you want to watch the video and just let me know your thoughts on wikis versus discussion boards. And I like wikis better because they time, date, stamp and keep a running total 
of everyone's comments. And you can use them for class notes. And so you submit your wiki, and then everybody can see your wiki, and then you can comment on my wiki, or you can comment on their wiki. And so it's very interactive, which is really nice. Um, and it's there for extra credit points. I don't have anything in the discussion board. Well, oh, I misspoke. In the discussion, I, you can go ahead, and for five extra credits, you can go ahead and add a thread to that. Um, and I've added mine. And so if you want in the discussion board, you can add for a few extra credits um, and just add that. But I primarily use wikis. I've got some videos posted. The first video I showed, Green County and I-69 NDOT, um, we watched that. So I put a few videos in here you can watch as we go along. Um, all of the lecture slides are all in one file. All you have to download. These are the course notes. They're all the lecture slides and the clickers. So all you need to do is download this one mega file and you've got everything for the course. Um, my grades, when you click my grades, you can see all the grades that you have. Now, there's a total that, that's keeping track of, of the total points, all right? Now, I will add like your, your RQ totals where you sum up all 12 of your RQs. I'll show you a total. And then I'm working on getting this extra credit on Pearson so it'll port over. We're having some trouble with that. But I'm going to get that. But you just focus on the points. Don't focus on the grade and get mm -hmm. out of the grade. Okay. So that pretty much tells you everything that's in the Blackboard. Um, and the library is a link. Brain Fuse online tutoring. You can check out the mobile apps. I highly recommend that you get uh, the Blackboard Collaborate mobile app, the Blackboard mobile app. Um, you've got those those available to you. So that's all I have. Hopefully this helps get you started in the class. And if you've got any questions, you can just send me an email. That is a wrap.